Hey guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episodes 9 and 10 of Crest of the Stars. Let's go ahead and get started with episode 9 in 3, 2, 1, go. Oh, that's quiet. If I yawn, BTW, I am sorry. Like, it, it doesn't look like I am sleepy. <laughs> But I'm a little teeny tiny bit sleepy, but I'm trying to get this shit done because I have been procrastinating all day Tuesday, even though it's now officially Wednesday. But <laughs> it's been a long, stressful day for me for some certain things. And uh... it's just going to be Lafayette, what's his face, and. Um, the Benin's dad in there, right? They literally just basically said, fuck the girls. We're leaving. <laughs> oh. Uh, unless, unless they do pop up today. I mean, it would make the most sense because, like, in the next, I'm not saying next episode, the next videos that I do after these two are the last three episodes of this season before we start necessarily season two, but I think I'm still going to have, like, 11 and 12 together and then the final episode of season one and the first episode of season two together just in case. Um... But yeah, I mean, because those girls have to pop up somewhere because it makes no sense to leave them and then we don't hear anything else about them for like years or seasons or such. It's kind of like how, like, okay, imagine if like a character in My Hero was really super important in like season 4A. Hell important. The, like... <laughs> <laughs> to the point where it's non-refundable and then we get to like 5b and people are like well where the hell did this character go and they kind of make like a little quote unquote small little appearance because of whatever the hell is going on and they're like oh hey how you been since you were important in this season <laughs> i'm so bad uh <laughs> I would use that analogy. Like, what the fuck? It's 12 in the morning. <laughs> I'm sorry. How we doing? This morning slash, you know, nighttime still here in Florida. <laughs> or maybe they did go back for him. Because I don't think she would let them all die there. Okay, that's good. That's hope. That is hope. I will take that. That is a promise. See? See? That's why you should always be thankful for people because you know if you are nice to someone they will be freaking nice to you. Oh, you're not going to go? My freaking <laughs> Excuse me. Mm -hmm. I mean, from what I remember, like, in the preview, he was in a field and he was sitting down and he was talking. And I think somebody said something to Jinto and then Jinto just, like, lashes out. I mean, yeah, you have to kill him.
Which is, of course. I don't think so. I mean, you could, but... Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, no one laughing. She is not going to do that. <laughs> tracing me but I think that's something of what she wants mm. how do you even have any weapons say even though we are not done with this that this show is hella underrated i mean th this is really good i mean sometimes where i'm like what the fuck but still this is really really good You good? Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> hmm? Is that Earth? Okay. Then where are they supposed to land? Um, we, are we ignoring this? No. Mm-hmm. 
Honestly, I don't think so. I thought she was just gonna. <laughs> I, I mean, I get that. I, I really do. But, I mean, you still have to think of safety at the end of the day. Yeah, you did. Because what if both of you would have died? What would you have been able to do then? Nothing. Exactly. But it feels like that, hun. So hot and wait. Are not are y'all now gonna be separated for several episodes until the finale of this show? No, you're not useless. You're <laughs> a little selfish sometimes and you know ish because we can all be so uh, selfish like that. Because you might be safer there than here. I'm just saying. I mean, well, you know, maybe next time warn him before you do it. <laughs> yeah, you'll be fine. Yeah, mm hmm. It's okay, we scared. <laughs> Probably both. <laughs> mm. Well, at least you landed in... I'm about to say a cornfield, but... That's wheat. <laughs> At least you're safe, though. Mm hmm. Yeah, you're in a wheat. 
wheat field. So now we're walking the rest of the way. Oh my god. Because you don't want them. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> oh, go on, it's okay, it's just dirt. <laughs> you okay? up hmm? well yeah because you're on earth <laughs> I love you you'll be fine honey Honestly, this is cute though. Somebody outside talking. Yeah, someone is really outside my fucking window talking. Hmm. Seriously? Excuse me. Yeah, but there's got to at least be someone else around besides you two. You're still technically, in a way, in the middle of nowhere. So there's at least got to be some signs of civilization somewhere. Unless you're pretty. Possibly.
ma'am, seriously? You're not serious about this, right? But what do you think this is going to bring? I mean, well, number one, we all know it's going to bring more destruction. But is this really necessary? She really means this. Okay, something tells me this permanent peace is bullshit. That's so bullshit. Come on now. If this show has the technically technically three seasons, three, and the person who requested this wants me to watch all three, of course, you're going to see more things happen. So I'm guessing, like, maybe in the final season of this show, um, we might see... What the hell is that? Whatever. Um, we might see that permanent peace, but as of now, looking at it and the way the world is, I'm, I'm saying no. There is no way in hell by the end of this first season we're going to see that quote-unquote permanent peace. Um, hell is surprised that she was like, yeah, fuck it, we're going to go ahead and do a war. Like, you, you really serious about this? You really want to do this? Uh, oh, God. Girl? Ma'am? Excuse me, oh my god. You really serious about this? Mm-mm. <laughs> no, ma'am. No. But, okay. Let's thank God they're laughing. And Jean told they're okay. They are currently in the middle of nowhere. And I'm hoping that between 10... Oh. This is giving me Hunger Games vibes. I can't. Oh. Oh. No. Let's get a message for this. Okay. As I was continuing. Yeah, that gives me a hella hunger, hunger game vibes and I can't. It's Peter and Katniss fucking Everdeen. Oh my god. Mm. <laughs> but, I mean, he is right. Because of the fact that she is not like everyone else. Of course, she's going to stand out. So, of course, she needs to stay here for her safety. But, I was expecting this ship to immediately, like, a couple of minutes after they walked away, to, away from it. To fucking explode. That didn't happen. Like. I get the fact is yes. You want to destroy the ship. To just in case. Yeah the people who are still looking for you. Let's say they do find the ship. You have information on the ship. If you didn't have it explode. So to number one. Like counter that. Yes explode the ship. And all the information that you have on there. Is gone and no one else can like trace it. Or you or whatever. But because that ship didn't self-destruct, it's still there. So anybody could still go on there and possibly find something. Now unless the um what's the word? Oh my god. Motherboard. There we go. Thank god. Okay. Let's say the motherboard of inside that ship self-destruct so that all the information is on there then yes the ship is still pretty much useless and they're not going to have anyone track also seeing Lafayette <laughs> Lafayette 
just trying to she's thinking that she's getting sick and everything because she's like oh my god like the stars were flickering and everything no no baby <laughs> no you're just you're on earth not you're not floating you're walking you're not sick you're seeing things differently it's your carb so I just want to see how, you know, currently she's going to handle this situation because, of course, this is now a time where we've seen at a point where, like, Jinto has been weak and Laffy has been strong. And now we're getting to the point of Jinto has to be strong for the group at a time when Laffy is weak. And so I really think this is going to be good, not only for Jinto, but especially for Lafayette because of the fact is she, it, she's different. She's not of this world, so of course it's going to be extremely different to her than it is for Jean Toll. But go ahead and pause the video and I'll see you guys in one second for episode 10. Okay, episode 10 in 3, 2, 1, go. Sir, you have a nice voice. That's one. Two, I feel like I heard it before. Because at first I thought it was the narrator, but no. I mean, he cute, but then he kind of seemed like an asshole. I mean, mm, God. <laughs> he kind of gives me Gilgamesh vibes. Like, ooh, God. Have I ever, like, even before this character right here, have I ever met another character that gives me Gilgamesh vibes except Gilgamesh himself? Probably not. I mean, because, come on now, like, it, it's fucking Gilgamesh. Because Gilgamesh... <laughs> Oh my god, Gilgamesh. <laughs> ah, I had the biggest crush on him. Sometimes he can be an asshole, but at the same time, you're like, damn, you can be a lovable asshole. But, you know, sometimes you just want to, like, put Gilgamesh in his place. And that's what it seems like this with this dude, because he seems so arrogant. And, and you know, sometimes, like, us girls, like, we are the type of people who are like, yeah, we don't like arrogant guys because they're so freaking arrogant. But then there's me, and I'm like, yeah, and I'm like, no, I could change them. It's like that. <laughs> oh, God. This show. Oh. 
I felt like I have something stuck on my nose. Oh my god, I can't get it out. <laughs> oh, oh my god! Well, oh! Just around. I don't think the enemy will see you from here. I honestly really think you guys are fine. Oh, we're finally gonna go in down. No, I don't think so. I think you guys would be well. I mean, yeah, of course, it's dangerous out there too. But why? Uh, I cannot speak. Would you rather be in civilization with people or just stuck out here? I would rather be with around another up to like so many different types of people because you know people can help. Well, you know sometimes because you know some people can be a holes. Then what's wrong? Yeah, you only have each other now. Uh oh. Yep, say this is just part of their love story, that's all. Oh, you want them to carry you? In a way, but you are. Come on. Mm-hmm. 
because <laughs> you are beautiful, but, you know, with the way you look and everything, you might attract. So, just to be safe. Mm -hmm. And that's not being mean or anything. It's just to keep you safe. We don't want anything happening to you. Yeah, you can trust him. You only have each other. <laughs> Honey! Yes, you can. You close the town. <sighs> Civilization. Finally. I mean, he could have got a little closer with her, but I, I get it. Do you even have money, though? Mm. We have to in order to be safe. Just for now, you'll be able to change it back. I I know it's beautiful. I love it. And we, yeah, we don't want you to get arrested or anything, trust me. We just need you to be safe, that's all. Oh, oh of course not, you're gonna have to do it, so... In a way, like with her hair and then the um the hat and her dress, she kind of almost reminds me of a Pokemon character, teeny tiny bit. Like uh, depending on like what Pokemon game you're playing, of course. Or you can just lie and just say you're in a relationship with each other. Yeah, but like, come on now. <laughs> exactly. You know people are curious. Exactly. No, 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 no. 
No, don't say that. I don't think he is. I think he really truly enjoys it. Exactly. So don't automatically assume that he doesn't like it. No, well, you never asked up until now. And sometimes, yes, you have to be curious and ask people, you know? Really? Okay, go ahead and get in the city if you want to by yourself. Let's see how that's going to work out for you. In a way, still, you two need each other. This is the only way that you two are going to be able to survive. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. Are you telling me that Jinto and Lafayette had something to do with that? Oh, fuck. Um, and see, in the whole entire time, they didn't want to be seen, right? It's already too late for that. Usually. <laughs> I mean, you still have it, but you know. <laughs> they like towers.
You just look for someone out of place. Okay. But you are hungry, right? Yeah, I see that, but... <laughs> Yeah, so who actually asked you to come? Apparently not. I mean, because you came all the way in. Of course, she would say that only to really shut her up, right? I just want to know that we're going to find it out today. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Probably before I record my next Patreon show, because, sir! Of course, that's not going to be good because whatever the heck is going to happen in these like last few episodes that we do have left, it, it's going to go from bad to worse. I mean, of course, like the police are eventually going to find out about, um, not even find out about, find both Laffy and Jean Toll. And uh, of course, when that's going to happen, they're probably going to be separated. And honestly, I don't want that to happen because I really don't need these two to be separated. I need them to by the end of this whole entire series to be together at the end of the day but the fact is that like the shit that is about to go down like uh, this not gonna be good like no it, it's not as, as much as i i think it is gonna be at the same time like my heart uh-uh, no, it, it's not gonna be good. It's just gonna be really, really bad. And, mm, 
anything could happen. That's the biggest thing. I hate the fact that the police found out about them, but it was kind of obvious that it was going to happen. There was no way in hell that these two were going to be able to walk into that city without anybody noticing, whether it's just the fact is that, you know, Lafayette is in a regular outfit and her ears and her hair is colored and everything, but still. feels really truly sad and I'm not ready for that but like these two episodes are really good especially this one I mean see like I said once again seeing Jean Toll um take that leadership role honestly was really good because yes <laughs> best girl Lavi has been in the leadership role since the first freaking episode ever since we've met her in this series and to see Jean Toll in a way kind of take charge and you know in a way become a man very in a very like on a very like short little time span because sometimes you know when things happen you're like damn you got to take charge and you either got to be a man or grown or be a grown woman and get your shit done but I'm, I'm just really truly scared about what the hell is going to happen next for these two because truly anything could and what the fact is that we are one step closer to the end of this first season getting ready to go on to season two once again, literally anything could happen at the end of the day. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to Beatrice episodes 9 and 10 of Crest of the Stars. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Natural Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all <clears throat> next Friday for Patreons and next Thursday for everybody else for episodes 11 and 12. Bye, guys.